Hello, I'm Andrew Rizzi and welcome back, of course, to Short Trip to Earth. We're in the third sector now. And there is a trade signal, three planets, a research station. Not bad. Okay, let's have a look around. Uh, this is actually really full. Um, there's even a warp gate. Damn. Let's go this way and we'll circle back around. Fuel elements. Few large plasma storms. Ugh. Do we don't need fuel that much? No, I'm not going to bother. I don't want to risk plasma storms. Minor risk getting hit by fast moving rocks, but there's a good mineral profile asteroid. Sure, let's do that. Serious accident. It contained volatile materials, which takes seven of our hull. We did get some ammo. That's nice. Seven hull. Well, damn. I don't think there's anything we can heal. It's just, yeah, seven hull. Okay, let's go to this public space station. Well, no public signal, okay. Hedonia Research Station. This is the station AI. Call me Hedonia. We're in dire need of assistance. That supply ship visited us four years ago, taking our fleet for the war effort. Haven't had any contact with Earth Alliance since then. Can you help us? Uh, okay, sure. What do you need? Our station is slowly breaking apart due to critical lack of spare parts. I've been forced to crowd freeze our entire personnel to ensure their survival. What do you need? I need 750 units of metal to repair all the critical issues and create a small resupply fleet. There should be enough asteroids and other sources of metal in this sector to collect this amount. We have that amount of metal. We've got like a thousand or something. What have got it with us? I built several fueling outposts before the problem started. Some of them might still be operational. I've given you your, your AI the decryption code so that the station would be visible to your sensors. Take as much fuel as you need, and thank you for helping us. We should show we're not spending the metal that we should collect. For example, the repair HP by crew button should be turned off in assignments panel because ship repair HP okay, uses some metal. Yeah, I know that. How much metal? Take all you need. There we go. We get 300 Zeno data. We get 50 organics. Hmm. I will defreeze our crew and give them a debrief. Some of them would like to speak with you. I've taken the liberty to organize a social event for our crews. I think a costume party would be suitable for the occasion. A okay. Yes, a costume party is definitely suitable for you've just got unfrozen from cryosleep due to your ship about to fall apart, but we fixed it. It's a traditional Earth party. I think a costume party would be suitable for the occasion. I've also shared a library of recent Zeno data with your AI. Come back soon and don't forget a, a funny costume. The more awkward, the better? I don't know, I costumed up as a space station breaking apart? Like, whatever. Sure. Let's do party. Party preparations. Social event. By the way, the long-term exit warp gate of the sector was hidden by our forces when the war started. And giving you the coordinates to reach it, it should now be visible on your sector map. Oh, okay, we didn't even do that. Good party. It ended with more friends and lovers than existed before. Three locals who enjoyed getting closer with our crew requested to join our mission. Three! I'm so tempted to say welcome boy like, sod it, why not? Yeah, let's do it. Welcome board. They bring more food. Synthetic, exotic, fate points. Okay, right, who are you? We've got a lot of these little blobby things, which honestly, they're pretty nice. They only consume four food each. Like a human consumes five. Like this all here? This is like, what, 13? Yeah, this is 13 food. We've got like a crew member who we got who consumes 14 by himself. Uh, oh, you're definitely going to be, like, um, what's it, protection detail. You, your repair detail, and you, uh, I guess you'll be repair detail as well. Okay, we've also got excess exotics. Ugh. We need to do something about this. Uh, what if we get rid of our DIY point defense? And then we craft a pack. So you can craft a pack. It holds two exotics. But packs can hold five. Wow, well, I guess we're only making, like, the minimum. But I'd, I'd prefer to put more into it. Like, you can put five exotics in a pack, but whatever. 
Right. Public materials converter. Sure. Matter processor. Convert synthetic to fuel. Sure, go on then. It degraded the efficiency. We could do more. You know, let's do another hundred. Try not to sneeze. <laughs> Doing a bad job of it. Let's do another one. Yeah, we're, we're good now. It's just, you know, we don't really have a use for synthetics, not without metal. And our metal is so low, we might as well convert a load of fuel. And there's a high-value asteroid over here. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Warp life. Oh, hello. It swallowed a number of minor boats and took a relatively small bite out of the mothership. We expanded a fair bit of resources trying to kill it. But we escaped deep into the asteroid cloud without receiving signal. We took five more hull damage and we lost explosives. God damn it. Our hull's really battered right now. And now we're doing repairs. Good job. Good job. I can see, like, there's a huge hole over here that's inside the wall, so you can't repair it. Damn it. Okay, there's a local warp gate. Lifeless planet. Let's go to the lifeless planet. Warning, this planet is property of Gal Prospect Incorporated. Failure to respect property will result in attack by orbital defenses. Neutralize from a safe distance. It'll cost explosives, but sure. We managed to destroy satellites. Life plant with covenant. Abundant outcrop is valuable ore. Ooh. Yes, please. We got a whole load of metal. Nice. Let's go through the warp gate. And a metal trade is coming our way. Oh, it only takes us to here? Well, I guess we saved ourselves some fuel. Uh, I think the plan is probably going to be something along the lines of go like that, then here, then here, then here, then back again, if we have the fuel. And then down. Yeah, the exit's here, so... Um, there's two trade signals here, though. The scanning range buff is really nice that we're getting from our, like, veteran scanner. You're a... You're not that high, you're a five at scanning. Right. We've got a trader, we've got an unknown object. Let's go to that. Shipwreck. A quality ECM system. Armored ECM turret 3, plus 8% evasion. Holy crap, that's really good. 8% evasion is really, really nice. Uh, what's our current evasion? 14% from that, up to 31% with our buffs, 10 from the ship hull, and 7 from the command bridge. And we've only got like a cat and a person in the command bridge, like that'll go higher. But an extra 8% plus 5 ship hull? That's really tasty. Where would you put that though? I guess we could replace you. Right, we need to figure this out. What are we going to get rid of? Are you the same? Yeah, you're the same. We can get rid of that spare bridge. Metal Trader. Oh, hello. Um, we could grab metal or we could just sell exotic for credits. I think we'll do that. Thank you. You also gave us 10 metal. Okay. Uh, right. Armored ECM turret. Place the storage because we don't need it. That ups our evasion to almost 40%. That's pretty good. Still pretty short on explosives though. Right. What oh, we got? Plant ecosystem, plant minimal life, high value asteroid. Let's do the things. Dominating life form in this planet is a single species of giant mushroom. Uh, research only. We don't want to large-scale eco-harvest. We don't need the food. We leave the unique ecosystem's planet untouched except for small scientific samples. 
It would be interesting to see how a planet with such trippy visuals evolves without our interference. Okay. Got a load of Xenodeja out of that, which is basically credits, so... Particularly large abyss leading to a vein of metallic minerals, possibly exotics. Yeah, let's set up a mine. Mine from the abyss. Earthquake. Yeah, that was too expected. And we lost access to the middle scene. That sucks, but oh well. Can we go again? No. Alright. Large asteroid. Please don't collide with me. We've took enough damage. Warp animal. A lone, gigantic warp animal has appeared in the asteroid field. It's now floating towards us. Scans indicate it seems to be powering up destructive energies. It's probably going to attack. It's a personal warp shield. Explosive is the best way to fight it. Um... I'd like to fight it, but we can't afford 30 explosives on a hull's damage, so we're going to escape. Successful! Try to follow us by creating personal warp holes. Ooh. Okay. Next, refueling station. Sure. Right. Hello, refueling station. Hello, I have fresh, well-kept staff who are ready to serve your surely benevolent purposes. Says a minor AI. Sure, fill our tanks. We get... Oh, wow, that's a lot of fuel. We're almost full. We've got a lot of fuel. Does anyone want to buy fuel? Unknown object. Hello, minor detail. Shipwreck. Quality sensor system. Non-combat mark two. No, that's not a quality sense system, mate. That's pretty terrible. All right, mine the asteroid. Warp animal egg. Should we take them? They could be converted to organics after research. Let's leave them be. Let's be nice, right? Up for caution. We get some data, we get a fate point. By the way, uh, one thing that really bugs me about this game is that tab is your system view and Q is your sector view. You'd think that the more like further away from Wazda it is, the like the less you'd use it. So I want to use this all the time, which is tab, but I only want to use this occasionally, which is Q, which really confuses me. Keep clicking the wrong one. Oh, hello. Warp life. A lone gigantic warp animal is floating in the distance. Our data suggests it's photomonal explosives. I'm not doing it. Leave it be. They're said to be thousand years old and highly intelligent. Yaw. And we get credits. And fate point. Yay. Uh, right, what we got? Things here and a planet. With a trade ship. It's armed with multiple projector weapons and nukes. Smuggler! Hello, hello, hello. Buy some exclusive information. I want the explosives, but I also want exclusive information! Uh, I think we have to go for the explosives. And we could do it for fuel or credits. I'm gonna say fuel. Uh, oop, typo. Inspecting the trade package reveals explosives only of half the strength of what was advertised. I'm tempted to fight that. The thing is, we don't really have much to gain from this. Like, our cargo hold is full. We've got a lot of credits. What would we gain by the fight? I, I think we let them leave. So this planet, possibly precursor technology or war panels are very... Strongly emitting warp waves. Okay, let's enter the atmosphere and have a look. What warp panel attack? What more attack? Stop attacking me! Then I'll show no sign of stopping the chase and have congregated into a hunting formation. Oh God, we could dump fuel or organics or explosives. Uh, engine overburn. We'll use fuel. We've got plenty. The animals catch up. The herd have no signs of stopping. Uh. Attempt to distract them. Have food. Space eel intervention. Only a few war panels take interest in the blob of organics we release as others keep chasing and shooting us. We receive heavy damage until we observe a group of space eels flying by in the distance. Their beautiful telepathic song calms the predators and they finally get the hunt. Six more hull damage! 
Please stop. Please stop. I need repairs. Metal object. Let's open the container. What is it? Please don't explode. Metal. Oh. The container was full of frozen potatoes which seemed to be completely harmless until stored. They're infested with military nanobots who somehow survived our decontamination procedure and started eating all the other organics. We lost a large amount of organics before the infestation was neutralized. Analysis of the bots provides some scientific value. Great. We lose some organics. We're doing well. Oh, ball of sand. Go around the asteroid field here. Damaged space station. Collect all the fuel we can. We get a bit of fuel. Right, warp gate. Let's look what's through here. And we hit an asteroid. Great. Okay, uh, we're about to get into a fight. Where are we? Oh, we're here? Alright, that doesn't really help us. We just jumped from there to there, and I want to go here, so... Okay. Uh, everyone battle stations. Ready? Squid Dominion Vessel. Bounty hunter. I've been searching for you for a while. You have compliments for reaching this far, but you must now die. Okay, uh, battle. Hi. I'm not ready for this. What have you got? Brass shield generator. Eh. Cold fusion reactor. Ooh, nice. Ultranite energy reactor. Pretty tasty. Point defense. Warp ray shield breaker. Not bad. Large energy ray disruptor. I want your guns. Ugh. How much, like, stuff do you have? 36 health and 26 shield. Why is our shield low? Is something not being powered? It's doing something, I think. It's still regenerating the shield. I guess we... I guess we had something depowered? Eight. Huh. Bad idea. Anyway. Right. I think because they're so dodgy, at least, it looks like, we're going to have to just blanket them with fire. And we have someone operating the growy stuff. Colin. There goes our shield. Ah, deflect. Not a fan of that. And they've EMP'd our shield generator. They've EMP'd our ECM turret. No! This is very, very bad. Okay, at least we knocked out one of their power systems. Which hasn't affected their guns. Damn it. Keep firing. Better! Right, we hit the warp drive and another power system. That's got to affect them. It has not. Okay, shield's back up. And shield's back down again. They have a fire, at least. Yes. Steve powered some of their guns. They're on seven health. We got this now. We're out of metal. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we managed to salvage some stuff. That's great. A lot of organics, apparently. And a single MP ray, a shield battery. Ooh. Ours is one hull, 12 shield. That's one hull, all... 13 shield. Costs one more power. We can totally afford that. And an ECM turret insectoid type. Yeah. It's far worse than this one. This one's really, really nice. 
What are we going to break down? Um... And get rid of the DOI micro gun. And we'll get rid of custom energy reactor. And we'll break apart the exotic pack because we'll probably make a new one. We'll store all of those. Um, the shield battery is better. And then we'll have to break something apart to make like a exotic storage. Sure. Armored um, ECM turret old. Yeah, we'll scrap that as well. All right, craft pack. Puts five exotics into the pack. Done. Convert the spare synthetic fuel. Very long metal. All right, send people back to their jobs. Okay, shield doesn't drop. I guess we just entered that fight with low shield for some reason. Uh, right. Planet, cryopod, probably a fuel station. We do need to get ourselves fixed up. And we've got kind of spare fuel. I'm pretty tempted just to jump to here. Oh, two refueling stations? Are those separate from the trade signals? I have no idea. Either way, let's look around here. Local warp gate. Leave, no. Oh, it's Gal Prospect again. Blow you up. We destroy the defense satellites. Please tell me it's got metal on board. Wreckage. Okay. There's a spaceship wreckage. It's mostly boring. Let's scavenge it. Tech found. And we've got metal. Medbay. Ancient Medbay. Um, it uses a lot of organics. It can heal very quickly and it heals eight people at a time. Scrap. Oh my god, it's worth two organics? I, uh, exotics? I can't scrap that. We'll need to make another exotic container. Ah, No. Damn it. I should get rid of one of our guns. Like, a singular EMP ray isn't very good. If it was like a duel or something, but that creates an exotic. I think all guns create an exotic. Nope, this one doesn't. We'll get rid of our sniper gun. Again, convert fuel pack. Fueling station, no signal, cryopods, nature reserve. Damage station, collect all the fuel we can. Right. Protected Wilderness Reserve. All the Guardian satellites are destroyed. The local ecosystem holds no scientific value for us as it's already been thoroughly recorded. We'll send the bots anyway to have a look. It's rich in organic harvestables. I don't really think we want to. Yeah, we'll just leave. It should remain untouched. We get a couple of fate points. We've got loads of organics anyway. Like, we could get a little bit more, but ultimately doesn't really do much for us. Safety protocol, so let's look in the cryopod. We found a cat! Yay! Meow meow. Go to the bridge. Kitty, go to the bridge, help fly the ship. This is a problem with kitties. Right, I need to name you. Oh, I also need to rename the people we got earlier. Uh, you're Kalodi. And then... You are Casper. You do look like a little ghost. You are Nine Tails. You do have a tail. That makes sense. And there was another person, wasn't there? You are Wilson. Right. Let's jump on. We're going to jump to here because I want that trade signal. Please be able to repair the ship. 
Large metal object. Looted refueling outpost. Looters attempt to cut out the AI administrating the outpost. They probably didn't know that such AI has a powerful explosive in the data core. Preserving, preferring death to loss of freedom. There's nothing to salvage except the metal frame. Sure, I'll take metal frame. Okay, we get a little bit of metal. Uh, I'll have a look at this barren planet. Oh, we need to convert before we can move. Sure. Look at this barren planet. Giant ship element. A bit of a giant precursor ship. Essential element of the module. Because we believe it to be the shell the giant ship module is missing. Perhaps containing something too valuable to be left behind. Ah, oh, I was hoping for like some really cool tech. Collect all the fuel we can. There is some fuel left. We're actually so, like, topped up on fuel. There's a star fuel station here. Maybe we can sell you fuel. You've got small fuel tanks and... There we go. Yeah, we'll sell you fuel. We'll also sell you a load of organics. Uh, not okay, organics, exotics. And then from our cargo bay... We can scrap you to get some uh, exotics back. Done. Yeah, that was definitely profitable. Let's go back here, get that 35 fuel. Salvage systems and repair. Yeah, we need the repair, please. Dear God. Oh, you also got a load of modules. All right, let's start with the repair first. We need it. That's expensive, but we just got a whole load of money. All right, what you got? Dream recorder, tech artifact. Non-user Xenotech, scrapping would yield resources and research data. ECM artifact. Requires a hybrid slot. Increases evasion, eh. Synthetics cooker, no. Stealth decryptor type zero. No. No, no, no. Extra large organic container. It's better than our current one, not that we really care. A fancy stealth decryptor. Transporter engine. It's the same one we've got. Large energy disruptor. Oh, not bad. Fuel combinator allows it to make fuel and a type 3 stealth decryptor. You. This isn't bad, like, it does 9 damage versus shields, and then 3 damage versus hull and modules, it fires every 8 seconds, it takes 3 power. Yeah, I'm buying it. I'll replace our gun there. It's not, like, the most amazing, but it'll do. Uh, and then we can sell some other stuff. I'm going to just sell you, like, a whole load of exotics because we've got this natural artifact here. Which gets us... Oh, it gets us metal and exotics. Okay. Well, we'll sell, like, four exotics. The price wasn't great. Uh, we'll sell a load of synthetics because we're almost maxed out. We'll buy a little bit of metal. I want to get back up to, like, 400 Everything else is pretty good. We'll sell a little bit of uh, organics because we tend to get pretty high on that. Right. That puts us in a pretty good place. We could just scrap some more stuff. Again, we've got all these containers. I will scrap one of them. Um, EMP ray, sure. We'll scrap that as well. Shield battery. I'd love to put a second shield battery in. Gosh, shield is really high. The issue is, where would I put it? Like we could, I guess we could put it in the hybrid slot or something, right? Ah, do we have the power to run it? I don't think we do. It would cost us six power. We've only got four available. All right, we're actually hitting power problems now. I mean, you know, power problems in inverted commas. It's not really that much of a problem. Hell, we could take away the medical cryosleep. 
Like, it heals wounds, maybe, and it means they don't need organics. We're so good on organics. Yeah, I'm going to take away the cry sleep. And we will just store it for now. And instead, put the shield battery. Oh, did it not use power? Oh, it doesn't use power. Damn it. Use three power. We need to replace you with a gun that uses one. Like, we could replace you back with the attack cannon. We'll use so many explosives, though. But we'll be so powerful. Sure, for now we'll do this. Like, we'll have to change our profile around later. But look how tanky we are. 33 shield. Oof. That's nice. Again, uh, explosives, you know, guns that don't hit shield, like non-laser weapons, are going to go straight through. We also need to figure out what else we're going to scrap. I don't mind keeping a spare energy reactor. We'll get rid of the ECM turret here. Get rid of this med bay. And we'll keep the cryosleep for now. Get rid of one of the light lasers. Right. Exotics. Again, we'll sell another four. The price is pretty terrible. Explosives. Buy all of them. Can't believe I forgot to do that. Synthetics. Uh, I can't sell anymore. Sell a little bit of metal, actually. There we go. Right. We're pretty good. Okay. Um, let's warp. And we will have a look at these, because I want to have a look at this two planets, refueling station, one planet, etc. And five planets here, apparently. All right. Gas giant. Harvest. Ooh. Planet-wide megastorm? Risk metal and synthetics? Sure. Went smoothly. Nice. Accessible fuel elements. No problem. We could go further. Print temporary harvester bots for synthetics. We could go further on the... Yeah, we've got loads of synthetics. Sure. Okay, we did it. Good job. All right, let's go. Ah, fire. No, bad fire. Stop being fire. I'm trying to go through the, like, less densely asteroidy part. Asteroidy part, yes, that's the technical term. Planet is totally worthless. Okay. Our sensors detect dense metal mass on the surface, though. Perhaps an artificial structure. Okay, let's have a look. Unmarked warehouse. Neo steel bars and a fridge with cold beverages. We got a lot of metal from that. Metal and beer, not bad. When we arrive in the vicinity of the planet, a large white cloud forms around it? The cloud starts to slowly circle the planet. Explore bots, yes. We see the anomaly sudden develop the planet and swallow the entirety of it. The anomaly itself it warps off through a personal wormhole. Needless to say, contact lost the bots forever. Uh, okay, they just teleported a planet? Okay. Extremely unstable, but lots of fuel. We'll have a look. Okay, we lost a bunch of stuff, including two hull, but we got fuel. Right, what's here? Desert planet. We find local semi-advanced civilization of maggot herders who call themselves Teodi. Seems they've been visited by advanced species before. They're interested in trading technology with us. Um, they offer advanced data technology and ask for food and explosives. Yeah, okay. Lead us to a locally, lo uh, they lead us to a location with some technological debris. We realize these are ancient escape pods, heavily degraded. There's not much we can take, but we salvage everything. And we get a module. Oh, it's crappy cryosleep, okay. An anomaly? Do not mind if I do. 
Warp lights. A group of anomalous warp lights approaches. They leave before we can react. Ooh, pretty. Metal object. Primitive explosive trap on it. Just with the trap. It's full of explosives. Yay! That makes me happy about putting those big guns back on the ship. Right. Refueling. Damage station. Collect all the fuel we can. Oh, 86 is not very much. Gas giant. Ideal for orbital mining? Yeah, okay. Shipwreck. Seems to be a fuel tanker that was attempting to extract fuel but got burned up. Sure. Oh, load of fuel. And we'll print temporary harvester bots to go deeper. Again, synthetics, we've got excess right now, might as well. Yeah, really good amount of fuel now. Unknown object, plant of atmosphere. Unknown object, large asteroid, okay. Somebody has left an active regeneration module on this planet and the local primitives are using it. The locals seem to be barely intelligent, capable of using only the most primitive mechanical tools. The healer module stops works automatically when anybody steps in. We could take the module or leave the module. I don't need to take the module. We've got a healing module. We're going to leave the locals. Okay, we got a whole load of cash and three fate points. Looted refueling outpost, we'll salvage. Get some metal from that. Large asteroid, investigate the area. Oh, we get a little bit, but we are hit by a fast moving asteroid and a shipwreck. Half his old shipwreck would destroy, it seems to be a victim of space life. There's no obvious signs of looting. Quality sensor system. Is it quality sensor system? It's not. It's really not. Right. In which case, let's go back and exit the sector. It was a very productive sector. Right. Exit warp gate. There we go. No one's defending it. I guess we had to fight the bounty hunter, but sure, let's go. It's great to meet another Terran AI at a place like this. While you were chatting with the avatar, I had some high quality uh, recreational AI time together with its mind. And please report, it's very recreational. I'd look forward to returning someday, perhaps when this is all over. Okay. That was a good sector. Apart from the very start where we got like repeatedly hit with damage. That was annoying. Right, we'll put some people on like fire duty and stuff. There we go. Right, we've got a load of upgrades to do. We managed to get through that sector pretty damn quickly. Not that many fights. Not that many fights, not too bad. And I think what we'll do is we'll save that as a new profile. We've got a much better shield. I don't think our firepower significantly went up. Like, we did buy a gun, but we haven't installed it. The DIY EMP ray gun. Wait, why we got DIY EMP ray gun when I actually had a ray gun that I put away? Damn it. Uh, hmm... Yeah, I should have replaced that. If we have one more power, I can replace it with the large energy disruptor. Oh well. We could replace it with the small laser, but I prefer having the EMP effect. For now, we'll stick as we are, but I should have replaced you with the non-DIY ray gun. Yeah, either way, Pretty good job so far. I've been Enter at the scene. We're going to end it here. That's the end of Sector... What was that? Sector 3 we're in? Now it's Sector 4. Unclaimed Sector. Exit's all the way over here. So we'll probably go... Blip, 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 blip. Blip, 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 blip,
Unless we find warp gates, in which case all bets are off. Like, subscribe. Until next time, stay shiny.